How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a fitness question. Weightlifting belts are used by many people in a variety of situations. And while most people believe they have good intentions for wearing one, there are still many cases where belts are misused. Instead of building strength, they may actually be doing the opposite. So when is an appropriate time to strap yourself up? I am going to answer this question from a scientific perspective. So without further delay, let's get started. The main reason to wear a belt during lifting is to reduce spine flexion. Wearing a belt will most certainly lower the odds of that happening, but believe it or not, the belt itself doesn't actually prevent spine flexion. It's your own biological belt that does all the work. During the eccentric and concentric phases of the lift, your body must generate something called intra-abdominal pressure. This is done by taking and holding a deep breath and then bracing your core by tightening your abdominal muscles before starting. You wanna pretend that somebody is about to kick you in the gut right before you start the lift. Now the key takeaway point from this is that it is very possible for you to generate massive amounts of intra-abdominal pressure without using a weightlifting belt. The amount you can generate is dependent on your core strength and how much practice you have had during your big lifts. So if you are able to generate this pressure without using a belt, when, if at all, is it appropriate to wear a belt? Let's take a closer look. Wearing supportive gear while lifting is like a double-edged sword. It does assist you in lifting more weight, but at the same time, you don't want it to be a crutch. Simply put, when you're lifting over 80% of your one rep max, you should wear a belt and focus not only on getting the weight up with good form, but creating more intra-abdominal pressure within your core muscles. If your spine flexes while you're lifting less than 80% of your one rep max, a belt is not going to be the answer. But core exercises, especially ones that focus on spine extension, most certainly are. It's also a good idea to keep in mind that there are many types of belts out there to choose from, all with various pros and cons associated with wearing them. So make sure you do some research before you decide to make the investment. But what do you think about weightlifting belts? Feel free to let me know in the comments below or on Facebook or Twitter. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and stay strong.